Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're still out here on St. Clair River. A um, little past uh, sunrise out here. We do have a fair cloud cover. I have checked the air map. I'm good to go. Check the weather. Good to go. Maintenance checks done. So we're all set here. Um, I've got the blue filter, the graduated blue filter on this. We've flown the orange already. We're going to fly the blue now and we're going to see how it uh, does. So we got a little bit more light here and I wanted to do the orange for the morning as the sun was coming up. Now that the sun's up a little bit, even though it's behind the clouds, I want to use the blue to see if I can't bring up some of the colors of the clouds, or the bluish of the clouds, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead, do precision takeoff, and I'm going to put this in the air. Part of my maintenance procedure is I usually let this sit in a little bit. And just kind of let it go up and let it set in and make sure everything's okay. I'm going to go ahead I'm going to start the video recording. So we have video recording. I'm going to tap the screen to focus. And now, now it's sort of interesting. So. I'm wondering if it's pulling up the greens. The blue might pull up the greens a little bit. <clears throat> you see the green grass down here? And uh, definitely, let's uh, see if we can't get some, some of the sky over here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this up a little bit more. And out simultaneously. To where I'm just out over the river. I want to get some a little bit more altitude. And uh, I'm going to hold right about there. I'm up about uh, 60 feet. I'm out about 300 feet. I just did a focus and I want to do a little bit of a pan. And uh, like I say, I'm only about 300. I'm 330 feet out from my position. So. Uh, I can also reach out and touch it, but anyways, I want to just do kind of a, a bit of a pan. So, I like the sky colors. Um, I like the blue. Might like it even a little bit more than the orange, because it's definitely pulling up the tones. At least that's what appears on the phone. Now, the phone can lie, too, so I'm not sure how this is uh, working, you know, how it'll be in the actual video itself. So look at this sky detail as I pan this way, because the sun's, the sun's well up behind that cloud there. You can see it's uh, probably a good number of degrees above the horizon, because you can kind of see the hole where, where it's kind of trying to poke through this cloudy day, because we do have some high clouds. But you can see the, the sun poke, kind of trying to poke out over there, and how it's coming back on the lake. And so it's giving me a bit of a more blue hue. Um, over there so that's actually pretty nice so let's let's take it up where it's a little bit darker now you know it's a it's a bit overcast today and uh, with that um, still early so just trying to bring it back down around this way And, but it's bringing out some nice detail by tampering down, tampering down is that valid to say, by bringing down the, the I think, the contrast of the uh, sky um, to kind of match that of the water beneath it, if you, if you sort of know what I mean. So uh, I, I like that. I'm liking this better than the orange. I, I've got a graduated neutral density also, which I'll be trying and see how that works but I think the combination of the blue and the the graduation uh, actually works pretty nice here so we'll just kinda slowly stick this down and we're kinda just sticking it down and we're just slowly sticking it down and we're just kinda looking at everything Very nice, very nice morning out here, very tempered. We see the bramble. Now the higher humidity is playing a little bit with me because we do have a little bit of light haze on the ground or, you know, coming up from the river, uh, which is, uh, I, I, again, I don't know. I've said this in a couple 
of the other filter videos I shot before this that I'm not sure how this is going to play out from a focusing aspect because on the uh, phone it does appear to be a little bit soft. I'm shooting in vivid color. I'm shooting in an auto white balance. Right now I'm about uh, 7500K if I'm reading this correct. Uh, ISO 100 with a shutter speed of about 100. Um, so, but I, I'm liking the effects of the sky altogether. And so I want to bring this back around and kind of frame this up over here. Well, actually, let's go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, now that I've got some examples, I'm going to kind of pull this in, do digital zoom, get kind of a setup. So I'm now at about 2x digital zoom. So this is a nice, nice setup image. I'm going to come back down here. Uh, I got the flare towers in the back. I'm going to back off a little bit so I can get the ship in the corner. So I think I've got everything set up here. So yeah, it looks pretty good. So far, I'm happy with these filters. Again, I'm, I'm complaining a bit because you got to put them on hot. So you have to be very careful. But they do seem to be working. I like the contrast and color of the sky here. Um, it does not appear to be soft, which is nice. So you can see the the contrast right here in the colors. Uh, the blue seems to seems to be pulling up the orange a little bit too. Not not very much because orange. Well, orange is going to sit pretty high in the spectrum. That's probably going to sit a little bit above green. So um, that, that's kind of interesting. I would think it, it, it would pull it down a bit because basically in your color spectrum you have blue, green, then your reds. So blue is the most energetic color. So that's at the lowest spectrum, you know, in about the 500s, uh, you know, the 450s to 500 nanometers. And then you go up into the, um, you know, uh, sort of greens, if you will, that fall in that space. And then I think, you, you know, so you get around the 450s to 500s are the blue into the greens. And then really around 600 starts your reds, your oranges, and things like that in nanometers. So, uh, uh, again, you know, when you're using filters, kind of knowing your spread of light is important. And uh, I'm getting, I like the contrast, so the, it seems to be setting up pretty good here with the contrast that I'm getting. So again, the class seems to be pretty good on these filters, if you will. And so let's see, I've been filming for about six minutes or so. So let's do one more pan up and see what we get so unfortunately well we get a little bit we're getting a little bit of sun peeking through and you see a little bit of on, on the uh, water there so pull it down pull it up Let, let's take a look at that how it's doing on the water itself that, that's uh, something I, I went, wanted to do but I, I didn't think about so let's check out the water so Near the top is where the uh, color is, and so you kind of see it, um, you know, you can tell where the sun's coming down. It's not pulling it up too much, but let's see, on, on non-sunlit water, uh, well, of course the sun's on that side. I, I have to look at this in post to, get a real, to really get a better opinion. I want to do another focus on this to make sure that I've got a good focus on it. But that's a nice, um, sort of interesting look and effect. So, again, it's going to have to be a little bit more in post because the screen's a little bit small for me to see. But, yeah, it's a nice contrast. So, anyhow, I'm going to take and I'm going to bring this guy home. And I'm going to do hit for precision landing. And we're going to bring this guy back. And so, he's not far out there. So, it'd be just quick flight. So, again... So far, so good on the colored filters, other than the hot mounting. Um, so far, the blue looks to be the most interesting. And I kind of figured it probably would be the most interesting. Um, you know, given the shooting over the water and the sky and, and that kind of stuff. So I think that's going to be <coughs> probably... <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting all choked up talking to you guys. That's probably going to be... Um, used filters of the color is, is likely going to be the blue. Uh, because, too, I, I should also explain, when I when I shoot, um, 
the water from, from a terrestrial perspective with a normal camera and a fine art kind of concept, I typically do use a Coke and graduated blue to kind of blend the sky and the water, depending upon the color of the water and the effect I want to get. So we're actually coming down pretty good. It's, uh, again, today I must knock on wood have a pretty good GPS locker because it's landing, as you guys can see, you know, this is number three that's just been spot on. I'm going to go ahead and save off the video. Number three that's just been spot on this morning. So within, you know, basically the white circle of the helipad. So anyways, blue filter, I'm giving it a thumbs up. I give it maybe 3.5 stars. Again, taking off 1.5 stars for the hot mounting. Let me know what you guys are thinking about for lunch. And we'll catch you guys the next time we go flying. Cheers. Thank you.